Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 23 of Let's Play Hungry Hungry. We need a little bit of money, so we can create Sicily. I expect that in this video, we will end up winning the war against the Odyssey Dynasty. And when we look at the ledger, we can see that... We have 1,413 holdings. The next largest is the Arabian Empire, which is the Abbasids, which is who we're attacking right now. So we're about to envelop or consume 278 additional holdings. Next after that's Denmark and Mesopotamia. Persia is probably very close up in the list of things I'm going to conquer. And of course our ultimate goal is to get rid of all wars. It'll be a peaceful place. This is how, this is, that, that's it. The war list is very short because I've consumed most of the planet. And I will continue to do that. And I always, I say planet, but of course it's not an actual planet. Hey, we actually won that battle, that's good. And I am apparently losing quite a bit of money to my retinue upkeep. I suppose I could ransom some prisoners. Just to actually, like, get a little bit of money so we can do some more stuff. I think I just clicked the wrong button. That's okay. These armies can go... I should go there and take that back. Can't hold that much, so we'll actually rally them to there. And then we should be fine. And we'll go with this. We'll split these up into two groups of three to four thousand. Like so. Leave one there, one go there. You surrender? How nice of you. Oh god, 169 prisoners. Should I I mean, okay, I'm gonna see I'm gonna go I'll do a one ransom pass. I need some money. Hopefully these banishings aren't costing me any tyranny. Usually when it shows up as a as somebody that you can banish, there's not going to be a penalty for doing so, but... I don't know, maybe I just made the game significantly harder by doing that. It's possible. God, can you imagine doing this without keyboard shortcuts and without... Uh, and without, like... No hassles, vassals. How much of a pain in the ass it would be to just manage all of this? Selling all of their kids back to them. It's the kids that they're really willing to pay for. Their heir. And you see it, and it's 26 gold or 46 gold. You're, it's usually because it's their direct heir, and they're very likely to want that person back. About the only time they wouldn't do it is if. They can't afford it. I'm gonna get so much spam after this. Oh yeah, definitely could use a ransom all button. You wanna know why? I actually know why. There's no ransom all button. It's very simple. The problem is that you can only have one outstanding diplomatic interaction with each individual character at a time. You know how, like, if you try to invite someone to a plot and then you want to give them an honorary title, you can't do it because all of the options are grayed out because they're, you know, you're waiting to hear back from them. So the reason why they can't do a ransom all button, the current kind of setup, is that let's say that you have two prisoners who have the same liege well a ransom all button would theoretically send that ransom request for both characters and they can't accept the AI only gets one at a time shoot just misclicked I almost did the whole thing perfect without any misclicks okay cool let's see how much money we get 254 right now and here comes some of the here they come. We were at 254. Get 
Get a little bit. They'd probably be worth more to me in my prison, but I just want that immediate boost to income. Plus, wherever they're getting ransoms to, I'm going to end up conquering again anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. They'll end up in my prison once again. I'm actually going to just disable that rebellion notification, because I don't care. It doesn't seem to really matter that much. Most I'm not even paying attention to it. Most of the time, my vassals are taking care of it. So we got about 1,200 gold for a bunch of children. That's nice. Let's go create Sicily. Uh, actually, we'll create that duchy... Hungarian Tengri. We can create Sicily. I've already created all the duchies, so yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot all about the create a whole kingdom at a time thing that I did a few a few videos ago. I forgot all about that. Sure, whatever. This guy can be the king of Sicily. Have fun. But it's fine. I mean, you know, whatever. Anyone that's ambitious. Okay, fine. You'll have to do. Get that county for me, please. Getting pretty well spread out down here. We do have enough men to siege things. Those are all kind of covered. So that means that this army can advance to here now. And... can we usurp any titles? No. We can call allies. Oh god, do you want to be my new diviner? Ooh, you're attractive. How nice. Oh, sure. <laughs> We're, we'll study technology from the Norway Norwegians. <laughs> Clearly, they have all of the technology. <laughs> Research tech. I've got this guy fabricating claims where? There. Okay. Let's uh, let's just move him. See if we can actually. Where was that other county that I want? I want every single county that's in Bulgaria. So I want that one there. Might as well start sieging this guy's land, because we're going to end up attacking him anyway. Those armies have nothing to do, so... Sounds good! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we need... One, two, three, four... Five... Six... Still are quite a few that need to be sieged. I could split these armies to speed it up. Let's do that. I'll take 3,000 from here. And have, ah, shoot. That's that's a pretty strong defense. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. We'll wait. Um, thank you for coming to prison. Appreciate it. 48 gold! Yay! Good times. We are so incredibly peaceful. We are such a peaceful people. The only reason we attack is because we can give them a better life. It's for their own good. thousand men out of like the 350 that I started with. That's kind of sad. You go there, then there. Please. Pretty please, with sugar on top. Okay, I'm gonna take half of this army though. I'll put it over here. And then... What? So this is all good. These guys are coming down here. I could advance them, but...
Lost my spy master. Watch, he probably got caught spying on the Norwegians. <laughs> spy! Get something! Steal their boat technology. We need it. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, enough men there. Hmm. Okay, this is the thing that. Uh, oh god, declaration of war. I guess I do kind of need to leave declaration of war on. Although for this playthrough, I could turn it off. I don't think anyone's going to declare war on me except for peasants. And that's probably a pretty reasonable assumption. Okay, let's go back to speed four. I've been playing on speed three for a little while, and uh... I'd like to get get things completed. Look at that, see those armies? They're getting together to go take care of the peasants for me. I love it. Actually down to a pretty small number of wars. Only three revolts right now. That's a good number. Let's actually split this up into groups of three. Darn it, I have to do that twice. So one can go there, one there, and one there. <coughs> <coughs> My goal is to finish this war this video. That's what I really want to do. And we'll send one of them down there. Anybody, don't care who. Alright, we got an army going there, never mind. So instead, you can go here. I probably already have an army going there. What? What do you want? Fraticelli? Heretics! Infidels! Oh my! Still... Actually, the retinue is fully reinforced, amazingly. That is unexpected. I should probably also finish off the Byzantines. 98 troops. Is that the only war? That guy there. Huh. Here, you guys head that way. That was remarkable. Oh, interesting. lot of people in one prison. <clears throat> okay, so we've got all of that. Everything's good. We need this one and then these, and then I can actually end it. Uh, okay, never. So let's just see. Do we have people coming on all of the counties? Apparently not, so I'm going to take one to there. Okay, peasants are declaring on me, gosh. The mechanic is broken. It doesn't matter if they declare war on me, they can't stop me. Oh hey, cool, County Unvedin. Nice. I'm going to then revoke Vidin from this duke. Claim it'll make him upset, but that's okay. You accept my decision. Thank you. Appreciate it. I now need to lead these troops. No, I cannot. I'm already leading troops. I'm leading troops where? Over here. I need to stop leading troops. 
I need to go back to Vidin. In Vidin, I need to lead troops. And then flag that county. And now move this character to that county. Now that former duke... Where was he? The Duke of Vidin. Apparently he only holds split, so he's going to be very upset with me because he wants... I revoked his title, he's a title claimant, and because he's the Duke of Vidin, he's going to desire the County of Vidin, so it's probably going to be best for me to just, you know, kill him. Although, getting people to kill him would be really annoying because we've got such a large number of Dukes. Oh, but perfectly, his Spymaster doesn't like him. That's good. And maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Apparently it's just the women and people that are in his court. So that's fine, we'll just kill him. We're so powerful and influential. Everyone wants to be on my good side. As damn well they should. Okay, I am actually going to turn this off. Declaration of War, at least for this playthrough, don't care. I'll have to remember to turn off, de turn on the default message settings the next time I play, but I don't, I don't want to hear about it anymore, because the the, va the vassals will probably take care of those wars on their own, and if they don't, then I'll, I'll see them getting close to negative, and I'll go fix it. Oh shoot! Actually, that's good. That I didn't even realize that was a county. Sneaky little horses. Look at you, little guy. You barely even fit on that island. It's not even an island, apparently. I've just lost a battle somewhere. I can tell by that noise that it makes. I've lost this battle. Over here. Interesting. I'll go get that army. That's a bunch, much better notification. Peasants have risen up. I guess I still have to click on it, don't I? I guess it's rather unfortunate. We'll just have to bear with it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta win this war. The only problem county is going to be that one, so we should assault. Regardless of the losses, losses be damned, just assault it. Come on. Good. That's all good. This one we should assault. This one we should assault. And I think we're good. Yeah. We haven't sieged everything, but let's just check. So, he has... Land. Shit, he's got land over there. Damn it. But everything else is... Sieged. No, it's not. Right there. Oh, well, shoot. Okay, so we need that. We need the islands. I don't think these men are going to be enough to assault the islands. So I'm going to split these in half, and we'll have to just slow siege instead of assaulting it. Plus I'm going to have to wait till the army gets to that county over there, too. But it's important that I get every single county so that he just loses all of his claims and titles and everything. Um, I don't want him still in the game, really. So, okay, I'm gonna have to wrap this one up here. I was hoping to end this war, but we have to wait. So, thanks for watching. See you again soon.